Yo, since I'm a prisoner, not just not of coronavirus, I'm a prisoner of bad weather. Um, it's raining like a mug outside, so um, it's not much to do. Um, if you have nowhere to go or nothing to do on a weekend, you might as well just stay home. And that's what I'm doing. Um, can't really do anything because it's, um, it's rainy outside. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. You know, the whole routine. Print sports. Um, so since I'm here, I guess we could do um, a series of uh, videos um, looking forward to the next season since this season is uh, pretty much um, a waste. Now, before I get into this video, I want to say... Um, approach this video with, um, very, uh, lots of, um, I guess you could put it with a grain of salt, so to speak, because this chances that this is may this may never happen. Right. But, um, it's possible that it can happen if you get the GM of the year or something like that. Um, so this is just my fantasy rebuild list. Okay. For certain franchises that I believe um, are, are not championship contenders no more and they need to get back to a championship contender mode. All right? This is just my opinion. And this is what I do. So I'm going to do it for several teams. I'm going to do it for the Golden State Warriors um, and other teams. But I'm not going to do it for teams that I consider championship contenders already because it's a waste. They're already competing for a championship. So what's the point of doing it for those teams? Um, so the first team I could think of to mind is a team that's been a championship contender for years, but now you could legitly say that they're not going to be a championship contender. Um, that may change when the season comes back because you don't know what's going to happen then. But as of now, it is what it is. I can only talk about the present. So, um, that team I'm talking about is the Houston Rockets. Let's look into 2021 season. Okay, we're just going to go completely into that mode. All right. Um, with that being said, we're going to, let's start, let's start off with a little quick dissect of the roster. Okay. Um, you got James Harden, you got Russell Westbrook, you got PJ Tucker, you got, um, let's see, um, Robert Covington, Eric Gordon, Jeff Green, um, who else? Ben McLemore and Austin Rivers. Okay. Now this team is lacking a center, as you can see. <laughs> um, but let's say um, the end of 2020 season, the Rockets lose in the first round. Everybody's panicking. They're wondering what can they do next. Um, <laughs> they wonder what they could do next to um, take their game to the next level um, or take their championship odds to the next level. So, we're rebuilding with that aspect. Now, we all know the system of D'Antoni has failed every year. So, we're going to finally put an end to that. Um, D'Antoni gets fired. And next thing is, who do you replace D'Antoni with? Um, I'm going with Mama There Goes That Man. All right? Mark Jackson. Okay? Um, he's a great candidate for this. I kind of felt sorry for him that he lost his job with the Warriors because he had a hand in building that franchise, so to speak. So um, let's go with just Mark Jackson. Let's go with Mama Goes That Man because he knows his basketball. He's a good coach. All right. Um, now we got a new coach. Now this new coach is not going to do the spoil ball thing. So what we're going to do is get a little mix of both. Um, we're going to do... Uh, what some of you say is impossible to do, but anything's possible in basketball. We're going to get rid of Russell Westbrook, okay? I have to get rid of one guard. They both play. They're both guards. I don't want um, Westbrook and James Harden on the same team. I'm just going to keep James Harden, all right, since he's a franchise player. So we're going to get rid of um, Mr. Um, Westbrook, you know. He could take that killer instinct somewhere else. Now, I uh, I personally think he'll fit great in a team like the New York Knicks. 
Um, he could be the Lone Ranger in, on a team like that. But since he's um, an all-star, he's been a countless all-star several times, not going to do him dirty like that by sending him to the Knicks. So what we're going to do is offer him to the New Orleans Pelicans. Now, the Pelicans have a player named Brandon Ingram. He's a restricted free agent, meaning you could... Um, um, another team could offer you money for him, but as the Pelicans, you could, you could match that, all right? Basically, you could fight for your play. Now, um, the Warriors did the same thing with KD. Did, um, he left, but they got something for him. So we're going to do this. We're going to let the Rockets get something for Russell Westbrook, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to trade Russell Westbrook, and if we have some draft picks um, for, um, to the um, New Orleans Pelicans. They got Zion Williamson. They're going to run a rebuild around Zion. And Brandon Ingram wants to probably be in the spotlight a little more. And what better team for him to go on to be a Scottie Pippen-style player? He's already a first-time All-Star. Send him to the Rockets, okay? So if you're going to send Westbrook and perhaps draft picks or maybe another role player or two to um, – the New Orleans Pelicans. I think that would be enough to get the job done. Now, um, contracts may not match up, so the Pelicans may um, may have to uh, give a little more. Um, so I'm going to go a little extreme even more. Let's say um, we give up a little, uh, we give, um, the Houston Rockets give up a little more. Um, and Somehow, some way, they could land not just Brandon Ingram, they could also trade for Alonzo um, Lonzo Ball. Okay, now I think Lonzo Ball would be perfect being coached by Mark Jackson. All right, so if you're able to get not just one but both of them, that'd be even better for you Houston Rocket fans. But here's a here's a here's a a more logic idea to it. Um, let's just say you get Brandon Ingram, right? Let's just throw Alonzo Ball out the mix. All right. So you got James Harden, you got Brandon Ingram. Move Brandon Ingram to the three. Have um, James Harden at the two, of course. Um, we have other restricted free agents. I'm going to go out, well, not even restricted free agents. I think this guy is just a, a flat-out free agent. We're going to go and get um, Andre Drummond. Okay, He's a, a big, he could rebound, and he could play defense. So get Andre Drummond. Brandon Ingram and James Harden. You got a big three already. All right. So let's take that big three and add some role players to them, right? If you manage your way to keep Robert Covington, you can have Robert Covington come come off the bench as your four. Here's he's a good scratch forward to come off your bench, right? Um, your your five would be Andre Drummond. Your three would be Brandon Ingram. Two, of course, um, James Harden. Now, you're one, okay, the guy that plays the point guard. Um, if you have enough money for him, um, go out and get um, um, the Dragon um, from Miami, um, Gordon um, Drogic. Go and get him. So you have him, Harden, um, Ingram, and... Um, Andre Drummond. That's four already. That's four starters, I think, that makes the roster look even way better. Okay? Now, you're going to just, you're missing one more player, a scratch four. There's several options you could go by. You could go, you you could go um, on the free agent market and get a, a scratch four that could shoot threes. Um, just a decent role player. Or you could just take Robert Covington off the bench and let him start. But um, I think uh, that's not so much of a good idea to do. Um, and, um, if I could give off a little hint of, um, some players that's a free agents, um, well, let me see them, let me do it. uh, okay, um, Mark Gasol, okay, he's a free agent, Rockets could pick something up like that, um, Serge Ibaka, um, uh, Mo Harkless, ooh, you Rockets could get something like that, um, Marcus Morris, Robin Lopez from the Bucks is a free agent. Now, he may not get the money that he's looking for from the Bucks because they got the best record in the league. So, 
Rockets, you could pick him up as your five instead of uh, Drummond. There's several ways you could go. Um, but Mo Harkless is a player that I think the Rockets should pick up. He's a defensive-minded player, and you know he's a he's a decent player that you sh you should pick up. Um, so those are just a couple a list of guys you could get at that um, you know to play the four position. But um, let's just say you could get Serge Ibaka. Okay, you could have a little reunion with that. So Serge Ibaka at the four, Andre Drummond at the five. Brandon, three, Harden, two, and number one, you could go with, <laughs> number one, you could go with um, Eric Gordon, and you could take him off the bench, assuming that if you still have him, or you could go out and sign um, Gordon Dragic, you know, or something like that. You know, you have plenty of options, but you could definitely should get um, Mo Harkless, and I think that would give the Rockets a legit chance at beating um, a lot of teams in the West. That as your big three. You got two scores in Harden and Brandon Ingram. You have a defensive minder and a uh, defensive minded and a rebounder in Andre Drummond, who's one of the best rebounders in the league. Period. You know, you you in order for a team to win the championship, you need to give all different parts and bring them together. This is why I was saying the Lonzo Ball would be great for the Houston Rockets because he could run the offense. You could take the ball out of James Harden's hand so much. And what we're going to do is let James Harden be more of a scorer. Okay, we're going to put him um, in the position that he deserves to be in and be more of a scorer. We're going to let Brandon Ingram grow as a player, be more of a Scottie Pippen, a scorer, and a guy that could defensively lock down people because he has long arms and he has a big reach. You have everything that you need from that. And you also could get Hassan Whiteside. He's a free agent if you don't want a Robin Lopez, another defensive-minded player. That'd be perfect for the Houston Rockets. So that's my Houston Rockets 2021 rebuild. There's chances that it won't happen, but you may could get some of those pieces, especially some of those role-playing pieces. But I don't think um, that should be, uh, Westbrook should be on the Houston Rockets, and I think D'Antoni should go. That's just my personal opinion. It is what it is. Peace.